AI and automation is reshaping industry. And let's be honest, keeping up feels overwhelming. Every day, I get messages from professionals saying, I know I need to learn this stuff, but there are too many courses to choose from. I don't have the time to waste on the wrong path. Everything keeps changing so fast. And some will say, I am worried about investing time in things that might not matter. I asked my 36,000 followers on LinkedIn, what is keeping them from learning that skill? The response is, I don't know where to start. I need a mentor. I can't stay consistent. Sounds familiar, right? Well, what if I told you that Microsoft AI can solve all of these challenges under 1.2 seconds? With companies investing heavily in AI and automation, the pressure to stay relevant isn't just about career growth. It's about career survival. But here is where it gets interesting. This AI just mapped my entire learning journey faster than I can order a coffee. And the best part, it knows exactly what I need to learn to get that promotion. Before I show you this game-changing tool, let me speak directly to you. Yes, you. Maybe you're already working in tech and you are feeling that pressure to keep up to date with that latest AI, data science, machine learning, cloud computing, or any latest programming frameworks. You know you need to level up, but there are just so many paths to choose from. Or you are considering that big career switch into tech. I see you there watching tutorial after tutorial, wondering where to actually begin and if you are taking the right approach. Maybe you've got a specific tech project you want to build. That one idea that could showcase your skill or even transform your team's productivity. But you are overwhelmed by all the skills you need to learn. And some of you might be thinking, I want to break into tech but I don't have computer science degree or I'm not sure if I'm too late to start. Here's what is incredible. Irrespective of the group you fall into, regardless of your background, your experience level or what technology you want to learn, I'm about to show you a solution that Microsoft has quietly rolled out. Quietly? mean because i don't really know why they are not making noise <laughs> out of this and the best part it is completely free there are two main categories i have explored all of them and i'll be sharing them with you so grab a cup of coffee open your browser and let's get started on your browser navigate to learn.microsoft.com create an account if you don't have one navigate to your account page and click on profile click on plans you will see two options Create plan with AI and Microsoft Learn Plans. When you click on Create Plans with AI, you will get these four options that basically cover every possible scenario. Let me break this down for you. Grow in current career. This is perfect if you are currently in tech and you just want to level up. Maybe you're a business analyst and you want to automate your report. So you definitely need that skill for automation and add it to what you do today. Start a new career. This is the one I recommend if you are making that career switch like transitioning from one role to the other, be it from non-tech to tech or from tech to yet another role within the tech space. Complete a specific project. If you have any particular project in mind, be it within your job role, automation, DevOps, or whatever job you do today, do you have any particular project in mind? This is the best option for you. The AI will laser focus your learning on exactly what you need to get it done. And the last one here is tell us your goal. Now, this is the hidden gem people don't often explore. In case you have not even started exploring this, I don't want you to miss this. If you've got anything specific in mind that does not fit into any of the three categories that I've talked about, use this. This AI is surprisingly good at understanding those things. I have played and tried with all of these and we are doing that together. Of course, I also recommend that you check out the AI privacy note just to know what kind of data is being collected from you and how it's being used. I've checked out this. Uh, the data being collected is being used to tailor this experience to you and probably send you some marketing and, and promotional information. Stay about Microsoft products, stay about your career, stay about you know um, everything that has to do with tech. So nothing alarming here, but of course, you can also read that for yourself. I'm going to start with the first one, which is grow in career. So click on it. The first prompt is going to ask you, choose a role. And we're going to try a couple of roles here, but let's start with DevOps engineering so i'm going to look for devop engineering which is devop engineer you expect it to provide detailed title and responsibilities but the word count is 20 words if it's more than that you might not be able to contain this all right choose the stage of your career let's zero to five years i'm going to click next now right here you can decide or determine all that is applicable to you do you want to enhance a skill set such as learning a new software tool or programming language and in this case, I'm going to select what it is. 
application development and can come down there and see DevOps. Do you also want to, because it's multiple choice, do you want to earn a professional credential in your feed? You have got to select that as part of the goal. Select your credential. Is it industry recognized certifications or apply skills? I'm going to choose industry recognized. And right here, you can see the Microsoft certification that could fill into that um, career that you are currently exploring. And the other one could be, do you want to complete a challenging project at work? I have a task that I've described here for a DevOps engineer, but this also should be 80 words. Don't forget the first one over there where you are describing your title is 20 word maximum. And this right here is 80 words. I'm going to click next. Then ask me how much time can you dedicate weekly? One to two hours for me. What do you want to finish your learning? When do you want to finish that? Within three months. I'm going to click on next. And here's the magic. It starts generating my plan. In less than 120 seconds, I have the result. But let's start from this first part here. Review plan. It explains what this plan is all about. The learning objective based on the things we have fed the solution. And it estimates 62 days to complete all these objectives with four milestones. The first 22 days, you're going to learn how to build applications with Azure DevOps. Then you move on to deploying applications using Azure DevOps. And this is 26 days. You move on from there to um, implementing as a secure continuous deployment using Azure pipelines, 13 days. And lastly, you take one that has to do with the learning part because you want to get certified DevOps engineering expert. If you are okay with this, you can click on get started. You can review this if it's useful or not, and you can start over. I'm going to click on get started. Do you see that it created a tailored learning page for you where you can actually make more changes to this? For example, I can edit. And while editing, I need to change the title. You can make changes to the title. The description is optional. You can have something there. Even the description for each of those milestones. You can also have that there. If you want to delete this plan, this button will do that for you. But we don't have to do that because every of these recommendations are so useful that I love them and I want to keep them. So I'm going to click on save. So since I didn't make any changes, everything is intact. You need to push this live to publish. So when you push, then you publish. But before then, let's take a look. Do you see all the four milestones, they are here. And as you are making progress, you're going to see your progress towards those milestones. You also note that right here, it says it's created by you, which is me, with AI on Microsoft Learn. I really love this. I'm going to click on publish so that this become live and I can start taking it and also share with my friends. Yes, publish. This is published. I can manage by view progress, invite learners, people to come learn with me. I can also share this on LinkedIn, on all those other social media platforms. Go ahead, copy the link, share yours. Let's see what you've been able to create for yourself. Uh, this is awesome. If you are learning from this video and you find it useful, do like and subscribe. That will encourage me and go a long way. Let's get back to work. You can click this button to get started. Let's go back and explore other options. The step is this simple. Click on your profile, go to profile, and go to plans, create plan with AI. This time around, I'm going to assume you are starting a new career, so start a new career. The first step here is to select a role. Let's select the developer. You need to put the role description. It is 20 words, don't forget. The space here is big, but it can take more than 20 words for now. Click next. Similar to what we did the other time, you need to select what specific things you want to do here. Do you want to complete a project? Do you want to earn a certification? Do you want to enhance the skill set? So I will choose right here, earn credentials. I'm going to choose industry specialized. Um, there are so many things that are related to that developer role. So I'm going to choose the developer associate and click next. It's going to ask me for the timeline. I'm going to choose those timeline and probably three to six months and click next. Vala is generating my plan. In few minutes, I have the same result, similar to what we had before. As a developer is recommending developing applications with Azure and .NET, and these are the learning goals. And I have six milestones, and these are all the milestones, with the days that it will take to accomplish all of them. I want three to six months by saying, okay, I can still do this in 67 days. If you want to proceed, just click on get started, and you can continue like that. Let's move to the next one. Let's try another job role for this same starting new career. This time around, it's going to be AI engineer, and this is my job responsibilities. I'm clicking next. 
This time, I want to enhance the skill set. And what is that skill? Artificial intelligence. And what I want to do right here is it classification and analysis. I'm interested in machine learning. And I'm going to click next. I want to, one to two hours, or this time around, I can do three to five hours, but I still want to get this done within three months. Click next. Right here is my plan. As you can see, I have 17 days to actually get this done. So it's not everything that takes three months. If I can dedicate that number of hours, then in 17 days, I can get this done. I can get started with Azure AI services. I can develop practical solution with Azure AI document intelligence. In three days to do that, I can even create advanced generative AI solution with Azure Open AI service. It takes me seven days and I can get that done. I'm interested in this because I love AI and I want to upskill. Like I said, I'm going to click on get started. This will take me to the plan page. All I have to do is to review this again. If I'm okay, I'm all right with this. I click on publish and I'm going to share this. So all the plans I've created, I'm also going to add them to this video. You can click on them right away and start them. And if you want to create yours, you can follow all of these steps to also create yours. I recommend that as well. This time around, I'm going to click on complete a specific project. This is straightforward. Describe what the project is and that is all. It's going to help you figure out what Microsoft Learn resources and plans will help you achieve that project. Let's give it a try. I have a description here for a data analyst project. Remember, this will take 80 words. Even though this is expandable, it's still 80 words. So here's the task. Analyze customer behavior data to improve product recommendations and increase customer retention. Use tools like Python, SQL, and Power BI to clean and process data. Build dashboard and visualize trends. Goals include identifying key drivers to churn, creating actionable insights for marketing strategies, and increasing retention by 10%. Success metrics include delivering insights within four weeks and improving campaign ROI by 15%. I would say this project is smart. The task is clear. The time it takes to clear, uh, to get it done is, is there. The objective the, in terms of metrics to measure your success is there. Once you have it thrown in, all you have to do is click on next. All oh, <laughs> and the magic starts. It's going to come through that. Look for those right content that will help you to get this kind of job, job done. Isn't this amazing? By just describing that, I have this result. These are the learning goals, the learning outcomes. And this is the milestone and this project in that I, how many days? Four days. Of course, it understands that if I have to finish the project in a few weeks, I need to study and learn something concrete in four days, then be able to work and get things done. So there are four milestones. And these are the milestones. Understanding data analytics and its processes, prepare data, build interactive report and dashboard, implement advanced you know, data visualization. This is impressive. I'm going to get started because I need to save this plan. I also share that with you in case you're interested in this. I'm okay, I'm going to publish this. Let's do this for yet another role, like a power platform developer. If you're into low code, how can you also use this to describe projects? So I have one project right here for you. Um, you can pause this video to read through the project. But the goal is to develop a custom power app solution to streamline internal workflows and enhance team productivity. How can you actually learn through this? For a power platform developer, you will appreciate this so much. After describing the project, you have three days. Remember, when you are building, when you are trying to get something done, it doesn't give you extended time. You know, give you something you can consume in two to three days and go back and get the work done. So this is as recommended for me three milestones. Create automated processes using Power Automate. Build model-driven apps with power apps and database, and many power platform solutions and local development. I'm definitely saving this. So click get started and publish. This is ready. Let's explore the tell us your goal session. As you can see from the left hand side, they start with the objective. What is your objectives? And thereafter goes to background, timeline, and review plan. Here is a goal I've created for a security analyst role. You can pause this video and read this goal. I'm going to click next. Current role, I'm going to select security analyst. There's a lot of roles here. Security operations analyst. Job title and description. Don't forget this. Also 20 words. I'm going to place that right here. And stage of my career. I'm going to keep that today's click next. Timeline, three to five hours within three months. Next. All right. So here is the plan for is security operation analyst. Start with analyzing security threat to Microsoft Sentinel and you can move on like that. We have 
25 days. So in 25 days, you can actually start with something. I'm a data scientist as well as automation expert, but I'm interested in security analyst. Even though I do not have much knowledge about this space, I can get started with this. And when I'm meeting anyone to point me, you know, to actually show me something, I'm not going there as someone who has not even explored all the useful information. I've done something, I've learned about this, and I can apply this knowledge because actually you're able to apply those knowledge as you're learning them on this platform. So definitely because I'm interested in security, I'm going to click on get started. And of course, I'm going to publish this. Yes, publish plan. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. If you enjoyed this video, I want you to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use this tool to prepare for a job that is posted online. And by the time you are going for interview, you have really good knowledge that can help you ease your interview. It's not just tips. It's going to be a step-by-step -step guide just the way I walk you through in this video. So, see you in the next video.